And with the U.S. already fighting two wars, Yemen has been revealed as another possible front opening up. But there could be secret links between the countries that is feeding into the American media, which is now stoking fears that the Arab nation is a hotbed of terrorism. RT's Ganechi Chikan reports. America's secret aims in Yemen are secret no more. As confirmed by a recent WikiLeaks dispatch of classified diplomatic cables, U.S. Special Operations Forces are carrying out strikes against suspected terrorists in Yemen, and the Yemeni government is taking the credit. In exchange for Yemen's cooperation, the U.S. heavily finances the country's fragile government. But U.S. plans in Yemen go further than strikes. The military are discussing long-term basis and asking for more than a billion dollars to fight al-Qaeda there. If Osama bin Laden had a dream for him and a nightmare for us, it was to involve us in, in inconclusive wars uh, in distant lands that would cost us a fortune. There's a, a kind of an intelligence national security bureaucracy that's fed in this country off fear. And Americans are irrationally scared. When the parcel bomb hysteria broke out in October, the U.S. 24-hour news machine did not fall short of feeding Americans worst fears. A second suspicious package from Yemen was found at a FedEx facility. It's an ideal country for an organization like uh, al-Qaeda. U.S. authorities believe al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula is behind these shipments. The packages from Yemen gave rise to a lot of confusion as to whether they were really parcel bombs. But one thing was beyond doubt. The fear trigger has been pulled. Yemen was in the news as a terrorist hub. In a matter of days, the U.S. officially deployed predator drones in Yemen and started talking about bases there. They deliberately overblow all of these incidents because there is a huge constituency, a huge business, national security business, which is paid for by the U.S. taxpayer. It's a way of capturing political support. It's a way of doing a lot of different things. But what it's not doing is defeating terrorism. The most generous estimates suggest there are perhaps several hundred al-Qaeda members in the poverty-stricken, strife-torn deserts of Yemen. U.S. Special Forces have been chasing them for years, causing dozens of civilian deaths. What the U.S. is doing in Yemen is really inflating the prominence of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Uh, this is a group that probably would have very little street value in the Arab street or the Muslim street if the United States wasn't propping up Anwar al-Awlaki as the sort of second coming of Osama bin Laden. I, I think it, it, it goes to show how little we've learned from the boogeyman days of, of Bush and Cheney and how our own policies uh, endanger us more in many cases than al-Qaeda's policies. On the surface, American leaders are motivated by the fear of one day receiving a parcel bomb. But some say the zest has other layers of motivation. You're not going to make the technology of a letter bomb go away by attacking what you think is al-Qaeda in Yemen. You're just going to make it move to another place. The U.S. government is basically very much into a marketing campaign to make these things look like the government is being effective. In light of modern U.S. wars and their coverage in the media, we've learned that the objective pros and cons of waging a military campaign can be muted whenever fear comes into the picture. And fear can justify almost anything. Ganesh Chekhan, RT, Washington, D.C.